two big questions that I have here. If, the, if the, they're not going for regime change, we've got two big questions before us. Number one, we've got the Israelis. Now, if Iran and Syria are saying if they get a cruise missile attack, they're going to attack Israel, is the president prepared to defend them? And number two, no. We, I don't, well, well, that's a big question. Uh, start question. with that one. Well, well <laughs> but wait a minute. We, we've got to consider that. And what's the point, then, of lobbing missiles? Of- Look, this is, it's very depressing talking about foreign policy whenever a Democrat is president because they don't care about America's national security interest. That should be the only concern of the man the Constitution makes the commander-in-chief. And by the way, I don't think the president does have to go to Congress to bomb someone. He's the commander-in-chief under the Constitution. If it were necessary, a commander-in-chief could do it. I do not think it is war. necessary. It wouldn't be a war. It would be bombing. I don't think it's necessary to do here. No, you can... Grenada wasn't minute, but, a but war. All the, the liber- well, the le- this is let's interesting. Trick- from- let's put that aside and no, get back to Syria though. for a moment. Well, that's- I'm right, so let's just leave it there right, and well, move on. Well, I disagree, on. <laughs> but go ahead. But it does say There Congress is a lot all- of military action the commander and chief can take. I do not think he should take it here, and I do not think, unfortunately, he is a Democrat. And Democrats, um, generally, they intervene when it is directly contrary to the interests of the United States. They seem to think it's selfish um, to do something that will help the United States, such as invade Iraq, take out a dictator, and preside over several democratic elections. No, that they're against. Um, This is now the second time under the Obama administration that, that, that America has has engaged in a military intervention, a continuation of a war in one case, solely so that our president wouldn't look like an idiot for something he said. Escalating the war in Afghanistan, the only reason he did that was that this rhetorical device to attack the war in Iraq, to say that was a war of choice, um, or a, a but, war of convenience, whereas Afghanistan, you, that's the real war. The what does he think he's accomplishing in Afghanistan? And here it's because he said if chemical weapons were used... That's a red line. The president has painted himself now into a corner. Now, yeah, that's not a reason for America to go to... All right, but here's the second part of this. I, I view any cruise missiles without regime change, this is like a therapeutic bombing. He gets to check the little column that says, oh, I bombed right. them because I said I would. Right. All right. No, so he doesn't look like an idiot. Is,